recording so oh, ladies and gentlemen welcome back right now we are here at the beacon for those who understand the beacon is just a solid a concrete erection to show uh, ownership of a land or to show boundaries or border so right about now i'm in tanzania this is tz meaning tanzania and when i cross over to this other end i'm in kenya what is uh, dividing us is this imaginary line this imaginary line so this imaginary line goes all the way straight up to somewhere so this side kenya this side tanzania and here there's a primary school actually it's called border hill academy and on this other end there is no uh, primary school so I, i'm imagining a case whereby somebody owns land around this place although there's that part of no man's land but I don't know if it's applicable. So maybe you own land between these two borders. So you build, your bedroom is in Tanzania, but your kitchen and your children are bedroom is uh, in Kenya. So you sleep in Tanzania and you come to cook in Ta So let me do this so that you relate. I'm just making up a certain uh, scenario. So assume you have a house at this border. So this is the border and then your house is here. Your bedroom is over there, your kitchen is over there, and your children are uh, your children's bedroom are over there. So you and your wife, you sleep here in Tanzania. But in the morning, when you want to go to take breakfast and see your children, you go all the way up to the Kenyan side. So you meet your children in Kenya. So if you want to get something from your bedroom, you leave Kenya, you go back to Tanzania imagine that and maybe your your dining room is also in in Kenya so anytime you want to eat you eat in Kenya anytime you want to sleep you sleep in Tanzania so imagine that scenario guys so this is Tanzania and this is Kenya and uh, maybe take me a picture when I'm in Tanzania let me pause here so I'm in Tanzania guys so this is Tanzania, and it's taking me a photo. Tanzania. Now take me a picture in Kenya. So this is Kenya. This is Kenya. Jambo Kenya. Yeah. And then let's see if the network of the phone will uh, will be operation. So let me call Marwa Soldier, Marwa security guy. So. Let's see. Asante kwa kuchagua Vodacom. Thank you for choosing Vodacom. The number that you are calling is not correct. Tafadhali, namba hiyo. Correct your number. Upige tena. And then Thank call again. Thank you for choosing Vodacom. Uh -huh. The number you are dialing is incorrect. Please check the number and dial again. So Tanzania they use Vodacom. Kenya we use uh we use uh, Safari comment. Yeah. So you've seen the scenario. Tanzania one one leg is in Tanzania, one leg is in Kenya, and this is the border. So this may be border point, BP, border point, and 12 stroke 4. Maybe this was erected in 2012, in the fourth month, I don't know. So this is how the beacon looks like. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. So let's leave Tanzania, we go back to Kenya. And uh, say your name. So people might Joseph Chacha. Joseph Chacha. Uh, okay. Somebody coming to maybe you are watching and you want such a tour. Joseph Chacha will provide the same same tour is provided for me. So he will pick you in Kenya and he'll take you to Tanzania. You'll have breakfast somewhere and you'll head up to the quarry and come back. So say share your number. Somebody will watch and want to come. Uh, number. Yeah. <clears throat> you are watching the some areas of Tanzania. Yeah, somebody will want that tour that you have given me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so number yako asimu ni? Ni 07 plus 2547 69 So once again plus 2547 mm, 69 69 91 61 01 63 63. Mm. Okay. So let's go. Take me to Marwa's place. I go say goodbye to them. There's a shortcut 
here. Yeah. Now I'm a member of Tanzania. Peter Hapa. Yes, Instead of going to the border point, the security will disturb us. So we are using this panel, this one. There's a primary school here, there's a field around this place. So right about now we are in Kenya now, from Tanzania to Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kenya. Karibu Kenya, Karibu Rumani. This is the country of opportunities, the country of diversity, the country of prosperity. Any dream is valid in Kenya. If you work hard and you keep the eyes on your goal. So, I can confidently say I've passed three countries, Kenya, Tanzania, and China now. Those are the countries I've visited so far. So, right about now, Without further ado, I want to bore you with other stories, so I'm going to Marwa's place to say goodbye, and then we call it a wrap. It's a day to remember. So, until next time, in the next episode, see you guys, and also document my exit, my travel back home. So, this is what is happening here. This is Isibania Market. Isibania Market. So let me end this video on the highway. Sibania market, charcoal selling. School is open, so the boxes, the buses is uh, in operation. So we have a bin constructed or being sold. And that's what's happening. And uh, over here there's some loading of the unga. This is Mezna. This load. So, guys. Somewhere there, somewhere there, so we call it a day. Call it a day, a day, a day. I want to cross, want to cross or get to the main highway that goes to Tanzania. There's a fish market happening here. And uh, we are trying to make our way right here. Well, this, this lorry that uh, blocking our way, the lorry is actually blocking our way. Yeah. Oh, they are trying to instruct that guy to check uh, the potato sack. So we go this way, Tanzania, Kenya. So that was my time. My name is Anoto in China. That's the name of my YouTube channel. Anoto in China. Anoto in China. Bye bye. See you in the next episode.